Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the possibility of an indirect travel bubble, so to speak, with Australia and or New Zealand. In a recent article from The Nation, that's nationthailand.com, article is titled, Thailand to Explore Travel Bubble with Singapore. So at first glance, you know, this seems to be about Singapore. And we've been talking about travel bubbles for some time now. And as I've discussed in multiple other videos, they've talked about this a lot, but nothing's really ever become concrete. People have asked me why I continue to talk about it. Well, I continue to talk about it because relevant Thai government officials seem to continue to discuss it. So for that reason, I'm going to continue to discuss it because it has ramifications for travel to Thailand, possible ramifications. But quoting directly from this article, Thailand to explore travel bubble with Singapore, again, that's nationthailand.com, Quoting directly, we have acknowledged that Singapore has previously run the travel bubble with Australia and New Zealand. If Singapore agrees to run the scheme with Thailand as well, we would probably be able to receive tourists from Australia and New Zealand in addition to Singaporeans, the minister said. And the minister they're quoting there is, excuse me, Tourism and Sports Minister Pipat Ratchakitprakan. So again, they're talking about this Singapore travel bubble, but it's sort of like creating a chain where Singapore has a travel bubble with Australia and New Zealand, and Thailand has a travel bubble with Singapore. It's possible that kind of creates a broader corridor that could allow more tourists, for example, out of Australia and Singapore to come in via, excuse me, Australia and New Zealand to come in via Singapore. Will this play out remains to be seen. You know, I'm, I'm becoming a little bit jaded talking about travel bubbles because I've talked about them a lot. Nothing's really happened, but it's possible. A lot is moving right now. We're seeing a lot of changes relatively rapidly. So yeah, it's possible that we could see major changes uh, to this travel bubble scheme in the relatively near future.